Uh, Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. I guess I, what you got. Hi, Jamal. I like your background. Yeah. Thank you. I, thank you. It's all. It's all about you guys. Yo, Jamal, you know, um, this is Black Tree TV. I'm gonna watch it. How I get it? What is it? Uh, we're on YouTube. Uh, we're also partners with Central Lab. Was also uh, we'll be interviewing you. But I've I've done you on the Butler and Precious and everything else. You okay. have a billion views on YouTube. So so definitely support us. Okay. But but Actually, speaking no. of you, I mean. This is your 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 fifth big uh, major director, you know, director uh, project to screen that we've seen, and I wonder, Lee, like, how, how much have you grown as a director from your early project? You've seen early success with with Precious, especially, uh, you know, for, to be here now and have this amazing project. How do you feel that you've grown as a director? I don't know that I have grown. <laughs> I don't know that I've grown, man. I'm just uh, I'm still trying to tell what's in my soul. And I um, uh, I guess you do get better as with like wine or something, but um, I'm still trying to figure out whether I fooled you this time. <laughs> I, I think the biggest- I'm just keeping this I mean, shit, I'm keeping it very real with you. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't pat myself on the back. I, I don't, I, I know that there are far better directors out here than I am. I just try to keep it real. And, and I try to keep my, uh, I try to keep my stories honest, you know? I didn't go to film school. I didn't go to film school. I didn't, you know, you know. But, but you made a bold decision. I mean, I know, I know that you have a cast of director, but I know this is part of your process to, to pick Andrew, who's, who's been a great musician and we've seen her do things, but this is a huge role and she comes in, you have the confidence to put into this artist and then she comes in and delivers. I feel like that is the, is a leap as a director that you have to make these bold moves to see the payoffs. So, so, Andrew, how do you feel about having him choose you for this this huge project? Billy Holiday is so huge, and she's like even huger than me now that I know this backstory. Mm -hmm. How did you feel like to take this on? I know that you could deliver the physical similarities in, in some sense, but you deliver in so many ways. How does it how does it feel oh, to get this? Thank you. Well, interestingly enough, I didn't even think I could deliver physical similarity. <laughs> you know, I, I just I, I actually was really, really opposed to the idea of it in the beginning because, because I didn't think I could deliver. I don't think I could deliver physically, emotionally, meant none of that. You, well, know you knew I mean? you could deliver the songs. She knew she could get, get the music. The songs, the songs, yeah. But, but you know what I will say, even with the songs, singing it fully in her voice, like, you know, not just with the voice, but with the emotion behind it. I was like, ugh. Like, I was like, I, I just thought, I was like, this part I can do. And then once we got into it, I was like, damn, this is hard. You know, it's so challenging. Like, to because you sang it very, when we, when we pre recorded the songs before we began shooting, she sang it in a different way. And then yeah. as, as, as each scene was evol evolving and we were shooting it, mm -hmm. um, she learned more about Billy. And a lot of this, a lot of the music we sang live because it really was Billy's, it, Billy's experience in that moment. Yeah, it was not what it was that we shot when we before we shot the movie. We yeah. learned about Billy late as we were doing the movie. Yeah, like the recording of it was very, you know, it was trying to feel her and honor her, but it was more performance based honoring her as opposed to on set. It was like being an urgency. You know what I'm saying? It was a need for people to hear all of these words and everything. So it was just. It was different, you know, but I was really scared actually to do this in the beginning and did not think I was capable at all. <laughs> well, you deliver, and if I could ask real quick, like, could y'all give me like the, the music biopic? Cause I think this is gonna be the future, this generation's favorite music biopic going forward. But when you look at Walk the Line, The Doors, Purple Rain, Lady Sings the Blues, Ray, like what, what was y'all's favorite coming into this? Or oh, not even your favorite, just one that, really made a, a, a huge impression on you. The, the bio, the bio, the, for me? Yeah. First of all, this isn't a biopic, you know? This is, I mean, this is as close to a biopic as we can. It's like a moment in time when the government was after her. I really wanted to tell her, 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 um, her life story, but yeah. So you're saying the musical that affected me and to Andrew? Music, yeah. Lady Things the Blues. blues. Lady Things the Blues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lady Things the Blues. Be safe for okay. Oh. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys. Stay safe out there. Can't wait till we can see each other on the other side of this pandemic. Yes. Thank you for your support, man.